Hey man, where the hell Bronny James going? Because obviously NBA. not the NBA. They going to the league, man. You think so? What well, college? Man, what he gonna do? In a transfer portal. Transfer where, bro? <laughs> That's what he said. I, there's, I don't know where the hell he needs to go. Where are you going, bro? Maybe Duke. That would be insane. If you didn't score at USC, <clears throat> you're not going to score at Duke. Yeah. Y'all saying it. He, if he entered his transfer portal, he could have just said, I'm declaring for the draft. Isaiah out of there. Listen, man. Yeah. So you going, he's basketball. going to a big school, bro. College basketball is not for him. He might go to Ohio State. Anybody with the last name James and the first name Bron. <laughs> <laughs> College basketball is just not for y'all, bro. Just go do yeah. what y'all supposed to do. Be NBA players, bro. You think he'll be a first-round pick? No. Hell no. He's going to go undrafted to the Lakers or second-round yeah, to the that's Lakers. What, if he did, that was my pick. How do you think people would feel about that happening? If Who it, cares? If, I, I agree, but I'm just saying, and how do you think that would be? for making the McDonald's All-American game. So he, bro, he built for this. Yeah. Yeah. But going to a different school, I'm, I'm not sure what he's looking for. I mean, they coach left, right? Yeah. I mean, that don't really matter. Damn. I yeah. say go to the league, but, I mean, he said portal, so. I mean, I'm just saying, like, what school could really... What does he have to benefit from? Like you say, going to Duke, I guess, if you want to go play with Cooper, go get a national championship, maybe, I guess. But other than that, there's nothing that makes sense for him. He's a pro. Go be a pro, bro. Yeah, like, you're LeBron's son, bro. What a, <clears throat> college is not... It's not adding up, bro. Unless he's like, damn, I need to be better. I need to showcase my skills more. Like, I'm better than what I perform. Mm -hmm. And it's for, it's on him, like, nah, I'm better than that. I want to... I want to show that. And I was going to ask, with the prestige in that family, you, how would they even feel about him being a second-round undrafted pick? I feel like they would feel a way. If anybody would feel a way about that, I feel like LeBron would say it would feel a way about that shit. Wow, so they probably like, hey, man, you need to show some more. So he might be going to UCLA. I can't see him leaving California. Bingo. So I, ain't be, I ain't be going that. I'm going to say the nigga might slip in Ohio State, bro. Mm. I mean... He could be going anywhere. He can go wherever he want, but I'm just saying. He might as well just go to the NBA. I think you go. <clears throat> you got a full year. Feel me? You had you was injured with your heart and shit. Yep. Got you a new one. Go to a different school, perform, and now I'll see if, you know, you can bump your stock up. But I get what you're saying, bro. But if he in a portal, let him try it out. Nah, go hoop. I just don't think he's a college basketball player. No, nah, nah, he's, he's a, a pro. pro. Yeah, I don't think what he his skill set is not meant for college. Like, nah. for be a college player and have shine, you got to get buckets. And yeah. he's not like a a bucket getter. What he do well is like I can pass. I play good defense. Yeah. I can make a shot. Mm -hmm. But I'm not like a aggressive get bucket person. I'm a really complimentary player. Yeah. And you being LeBron kid don't help niggas yeah. expect at thirty. Yeah. You supposed to be Isaiah. Yeah. So if you get. 10, 5, and 5. We like <sighs> NBA people know that's a good game. Yeah. Like, but I saw it a long time when I used to argue with Mook about him. I'm like, bro, he don't got an average 20, bro. His skill set alone is way better than a lot of niggas. Yeah. He yeah. ain't just, you know, it's hard to nigga average 40 on a team like that. So, And like you said, <clears throat> the college game, especially when it comes to scoring, is fucking different. Mm -hmm. But then they don't even give a fuck about college scores, which is the crazy know. part. So he really, like you said, ain't really no win-win for that shit. Yeah, just got to leave, bro. <clears throat> that was just surprising to see. Yeah. Like, damn, like, nigga, you leaving? Like, I thought he was just saying, I'm declaring. Yeah. That's a lot of niggas in that portal, too, bro. Mm -hmm. We're a portal full, bro. It's crazy how you got to battle. Like, I don't want to be in a portal, bro. And I'm just a nigga 24, bro, finna go to the same school as me at the same position. Yeah, your coach, coach is taking him, bro. <clears throat> He's better than me. He's bro. older than me. He's grown. Hey. As a kid. But nigga, no real adversity, nigga. Facts. But shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Man, RP Vontae Davis, man. They found him uh unresponsive last week. Salute to him. He brought us one of the best moments in the history of sports. Retiring at halftime. Why is that one of the best moments? Cause bro, he said I'm done with this shit, bro. Nah. Fire. Man. And then the stories behind the Bill Spare is behind it, bro. One of my favorite moments in football. He was a lockdown corner, but it was funny as hell to hear him wearing that guy. He was just like, yeah, I'm done with this shit. Like, you had you had that moment, he was just like, oh, damn, shit got ugly. He's like, yeah, I can't keep up with these niggas no more. I'm no, done. I respect that. What happens on? 
Uh, what happened? I'm not sure what happened. Yeah. Damn, RIP. I ain't know that. Yeah. Freaky Mike, what you doing, Freaky man? Freaky Mike out here fucking up shit. But RIP to, to Broski. Yeah, man, that's just crazy. Yeah, that shit's crazy. But it also reminds me of Antonio Brown, the way that he left his last game. <laughs> One of the wildest. That's the wildest. Look. Him and DeMar Hamlin back and forth was funny than <laughs> a bitch, bro. <laughs> hey, what did he say about DeMar Hamlin, bro? <laughs> He said, uh, when somebody died, uh, a fictional person that died. <laughs> he went and then he responded. And he was just like, he's like, hey, man, I don't run my Twitter, man. Like, get off that. Psych, nigga, I run this shit for you. <laughs> I was like, it's like a run of streets. <laughs> you just see him hooping in the boots? Man, that nigga said who's a fictional person that died, bro. He bro, said, bro, bro, Hamlin, that's bro, the real AI, bro. Hey, that's he's, a, he's a real AI? format. Yeah, hey, that's bro. a great question, though. Who's a fictional character that died that you was like, damn? Tupac. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Ricky, Boys of the Hood, bro. Hmm. So learned that, that fly route. He wasn't going to USC <laughs> running like that, no way. <laughs> Yeah. That's why I took his scholarship. That nigga didn't know how to hit a... They shot the shit out of him, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Probably didn't sell bitch ass. Whoa. Well, training to... Yeah. Or, <laughs> Lonzo was a, was a good God. nigga. Or, a or, my nigga, nigga. or my nigga from uh, Hardball, Pauls. G oh, baby. yeah, G baby. That's yeah. how I knew we couldn't trust Michael B. Jordan. He let his homie get smoked. Yeah, yeah Michael B. Jordan was in that? Yeah, he, he sure was. He sure was. G baby was a tough loss to the... The yeah. movie community. <laughs> one of the best assistants. But coaches. the most craziest one for real, and Columbo, you out of pocket for the finesse, was Chris Brown. They got all them people to go see Stump the Yard. <laughs> and that nigga was in the movie. <laughs> and they purposely minutes. off that nigga yeah. at the beginning of that bitch. So Columbo could shine. Yeah. Every time they show that meme, it's like, Chris Brown did that movie, and niggas literally wanted to kill him. I'm like, <laughs> that's crazy. Nah, <laughs> Kelly Rowland, when she got killed in something so fast. Damn. What movie was that? It was like Scream or some shit. She got killed in like... The Damn, baby movie. girl. They killed Kelly Rowe off? Yeah, they killed her so fast. Damn. Bro, what y'all think about Beyonce album? Uh, I didn't listen to it, but apparently all the women love it. Turn up. It's streaming. I heard a couple of uh, songs on TikTok. It's cool. Can she do anything wrong? No. No, she's Beyonce. That's crazy. What's next? Gospel. They said she's doing a rock album. Oh, that's tough. She just got the fan base for it, bro. <clears throat> like, her music just not for us, bro. It's too diverse. Mm -hmm. She Amen. literally got country. Although, even when she making songs like Drunk and Love and shit, all those people who's tapped into the country and pop and rock world, go to them. Sink her shit word for word, bro. No matter what she does, bro. The, yeah. the community is going to say, this is what we're doing now. <clears throat> Give her, her your money. That's why I think Drake is okay. Don't matter. Like, none of the rest of them nigga, rap niggas can compete with him, bro. You think? Um, He's got a way gone. bigger audience than everybody else. 